dogs. It's the biggest island in Mexico, or in that, oh, off the island. I spent five hours doing this net. You can hardly see it. There's so many bees and flies here. Maybe you could see the fly on the net. There he is. Spent five hours doing this net. It's not even finished yet. It's just quick emergency to get up. What I did today was put Velcro. There's Velcro up there and then Velcro on the net all the way across the top. This net was a little bit short, so I, had, I haven't finished this yet. I'll be doing another section down here, down this way. And it is Velcroed along this edge of the canopy. So I've got the whole back. Now we can keep the doors to the inside open and we can eat out here without getting attacked by bees and flies. In the doorway in the middle, I'll be also making a magnet so we can go in and out. It'll be like a click-click opening. So I'll, I'll cut the two down the middle. They'll overlap and then when we go in and out, they'll click and close with magnets. I had to put a seam down here too because they were only 1.2 meters wide. Ah, oh, we can actually sit here tonight and eat our dinner. But I still have to wait to barbecue until the sun goes down. I don't have a hundred flies around me. Good morning, Andrew. Are you enjoying your coffee without a fly swatter in your hands? Oh, that's so nice. No flies, no bees. Although I got stung yesterday again, this time on the foot. Well, there are flies and bees. They're outside. Yesterday I got stung outside. Yeah, they're trying to get they're trying to get in here. I'm staying in here so I don't get stung again. <laughs> I react badly. Did the Benadryl help? Yes, I think so. Let's see your foot. There's a difference in the feet. Oh, the Benadryl did help. They got stung right there, right on the ball of the foot. Yeah, it's not as swollen as it would get if you didn't take Benadryl. Hmm. Yes, but we are protected now. With this nice net. Good job, Leanne. It's not done yet. Still have a lot of work, but it's good for now. Because you guys are trying to come in, but you cannot. <laughs> oh, there's a bee down there. Let's get out of this fly and bee infested anchorage. Dogs Bay and Tiburon. The butt shot again. Dogs Island today. I'm going to have to do a little bit of crocheting. We need a new dishcloth. Here is my old dishcloth. Kind of disintegrates because I usually put some bleach in the soapy water. This is the wool I'll be crocheting with. It's exactly the same as what I used when I showed you. The bleach takes the color out. Well, today's a good day to do that on the passage. As long as I don't get seasick. Right now we're going into the wind, but we're going to go around Tiburon and we should have a downwind sail when we get around this point. Just caught a mackerel between Tiburon and Turner Island Passage. Small guy, I've already filleted it and it's in the fridge. It's like all in five minutes he's there. Didn't show him because I was busy. Andrew couldn't leave the bridge because we're going through the passage between reefs. So I actually killed him myself, which I don't like to do. All done. But because of that, I missed taking a picture of this island here that has a cactus forest on it. That's where we caught our fish. Almost through the passage, and then we have 20 nautical miles to go up the width of the island. And there's... Tiburon. 
Oh, we have a strong current in our favor. There's our boat speed. Here's our wind speed. <laughs> There's our speed over the ground. 2.8 is our boat speed and we're going over six. Huge current here. We're going between Tiburon and Esteban. Very strong current in our favor. Nice. Looks like we've got a lot of rips out here. South end of Tiburon. After catching the fish, the mackerel, and cleaning it and everything, I did laundry. I've got a bucket of bleachy water there waiting for the next fish I catch. Maybe we'll catch something. I just finished sewing on the extra piece of netting that goes right here. We were a little, the rolls were a little bit not long enough. I just did that so we could, for now, we'll just close pin them to this canopy. And we won't have an opening. Lucky I got that finished because it's getting a little choppy so I didn't get seasick. And now I'm going to so busy. Now I'm going to do the now I'm going to do my crocheting my dish rag. Andrew's just playing playing games on his phone. Stoku. I don't know what he would do without me. Such a hard worker. Yeah, she's a trooper. <laughs> Hammerhead shark right here circling our boat. He's coming! He's coming to the line! Oh crap! No, I don't want to catch a hammerhead! Not that size! Not that size! He's big! Oh dear! I was just joking about if I catch a shark, I'm cutting the line. Whoa! Okay, I know I don't want to swim here now. That's the first hammerhead full grown I've seen. The only other ones we saw were the babies we saw pulled up in the net in Panama a long time ago. This is big. This riptide here is just unbelievable. We haven't seen current like this in a very, very long time. Mm -mm -mm. And here's our mackerel for lunch, freshly caught. Yummy, it's really good. Coming into the anchorage, the wind has really picked up. That's already calming down. We are going close to nine knots. There's our anchorage. Any more? Yes. That's it. That's it. Anchor down and of water because there's two over two meter tides here and we also are just leaving in the morning and we're on the opposite side of our anchorage from before it was just over there somewhere before we head to Partida tomorrow morning oh all right so I have to do this sewing of the net while we're sailing because there's too many bees and flies at the anchorages I have made a throughway, overlapping throughway so we can get in and out. Andrew will show you how it works. Magnets at the bottom, you go through and then the magnets stick back together again. That's just kind of temporary now. And now we're protected from the bees, the flies, and we still have lots of airflow through here, the whole area. Going snorkeling and to see the sea lion colony. Partida Rock, just off of Partida. We can smell them now and hear them. We would have to cut the engine so we hear this.
Let's see if we can make it through here. We're getting close to low tide now. Oh, there's a male there, Andrew. There's a male right there. He's not too happy. Well, that was pretty cool. Lots of sea lions, holy smokes, and huge males too. We hope uh, got some good shots for you. Hi! You having fun? Hi, sweetie! 